Hi guys, I'm playing War Robots on the Acer monitor and this is playing uh, from the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is not showing, yes, but I will show you the Steam Deck eventually. Uh, for some strange reason, for some strange reason, my Steam Deck is not playing the game directly on the screen. So for whatever reason, it, it does come onto my Acer monitor. The Steam Deck is actually attached to... Wow, I'm getting hit here by something. Something is draining my energy. Right, for, for some reason... For some reason, the Steam Deck just won't... The Steam Deck just won't um, play the game directly on the Steam Deck screen. Instead, it plays the game directly onto this. Yeah, this guy... Oh, damn. It killed my opium. That was a Skyros, the ball robot. So, like I said, for some reason, uh, the game itself just doesn't play off of the Steam Deck screen. It does play on the Acer monitor. I mean, for me, it's not a problem because I prefer the bigger screen anyway. It's not an issue. There's no lag or anything. I don't know why it's doing that. Most of the games do play, like Call of Duty 3 will play on the Steam Deck screen. Um, other games, um, Farlight will play on the uh, Steam Deck screen. I can just have it playing on, on a bigger monitor if I wanted to. It's not, it's not a big problem. I don't have an issue with it. But I, I feel like, especially games like Call of Duty 3, it's just sometimes I feel it's better for it not to uh, reflect on another monitor. I know people say you get higher frames and all that, but I don't believe in all that stuff. I think it's, you actually lose frames by having it play on an external monitor. It's just my feeling on it. I might be wrong. That's a scorpion. I'm going to try and pause him. But he ran away. He knew I was trying to freeze him. I think I got what I wanted. I, I've got the... I got the... What you call this thing? I got the... The beacon. That's a Capri. Uh, that, that can carry four light weapons. Damn, I'm suffering here. Yeah, something's attacking me. Oh, it's a warrior typhoon that's attacking me. There's nothing I can do. There he is. He's got the hazards on him. Oh, <laughs> I was lucky. I was able to escape. <laughs> no, I was able to escape. You wanted to destroy me. It's a warrior typhoon that was uh, attacking me. Uh, there's nothing I could do because, I mean, he's, he carries four medium weapons. So, um, you know, let me try and destroy him now. Um, a bit of revenge. Just don't want him to target me directly because if he does, he can freeze me, he can put me in lockdown and then it'll be hard for me to escape and therefore he'll be able to destroy me completely. We captured all the beacons. I don't know what this guy is doing. I don't, I don't mind now losing my... Oh, damn. I feel like he's going to destroy me. If I don't get help from someone... Oh, come on, bro. Someone attack this warrior typhoon. Where's he attacking? He's attacking the wrong place. Ah, come on. Oh, damn, he's, he's gone into stealth. Ah, come on. Ah! Damn! He, he went into some kind of stealth thing, uh, so I wasn't able to attack him. That's, that was kind of uh, messed up on its own. Uh, no point in this one. Right, let's do this one. And let me attack that. Uh, I think I got the, I got all the beacons. I'm pretty sure I got all the beacons, so it's all good. I'm attacking this guy with a gecko. Wow, well, I'm I'm losing life from something. Oh right, okay. They they use that um, Orient thing. So you actually lose life from that thing. Damn. Look at this. I'm using a gecko. The gecko is causing 2,080 damage, but the other ones, the tages or the laser weapons, only cause a fraction. Is this guy blind? He's getting hit there by the Indra. He's actually dying. Look at him. He's so focused on fighting the opium, he doesn't realize that he's actually dying. And now he's dead. What was the point of standing there? He must think he's superior or something. Oh my, what? Yeah, I'm getting attacked here. Yeah. 
Yeah, this this dude they're trying to come back in. Yeah, he's using the pentagrams. Oh, <laughs> he can see what I'm doing. He saw what I'm doing. That's like trying to sneak in behind him, so I could have obliterated him, but I couldn't. Let me attack this dude. That's a Dagon. Um, the geckos do deal damage at 1,100 meters. They don't have a timer, they don't have a reload or anything button on them. <laughs> we won! Victory! That was so interesting. Because I gave the Loki uh, three uh, repair units uh, thing. So, and he had Reviver as the drone. So, every time the Loki's health was going down, he was getting revived. So if you lose half of your life, you get, or if your life is about to reach zero, you get half of your life restored. And he had, um, he had three uh, repair units on him. Right, I know I've completed this task. Yeah, there you go. I finished it. Fifteen beacons. All, all through just using um, the Loki. So that's why I like Loki. Because I knew with Loki we'll win. You know, we'll, we'll get... I mean, we would get that uh, task done. You see? Captured all the beacons. And I didn't have to play, like, games the whole day. Just, like, if, if you want to capture beacons, just get a Loki. If you have to buy one, buy it. It's not a waste of money. It's it's a good thing, you know? Right, I think... Okay, you count here the shield, then the cup, then the three people thing here. And in here, you can actually donate uh, to your clan. I got 500. I know you guys are thinking, what's this for? Well... Go into management, go to upgrades, and in here you should be able to upgrade something. And there you go. I'm now upgrading. Our comm center is level 3, and now we're actually upgrading the citadel to level 3. And it says allow other uh, sections to be upgraded. Client capacity to uh, 20 members. So we're upgrading all of this. I don't know what the other members are doing, but I know that I've been donating so far. So it says an upgrade token acquisition is one. So we'll be able to get these tokens. We're able to get keys. We're able to get microchips. And we're able to get, yeah, more microchips. No, no, those are power cells. And um, memoriam. You need this for Titan pilots. So this is what this does. But the treasury has gone down a bit. So in order to get this stuff, you need to actually put in 540 a day just to get this microchip stuff. But it kind of, it's just good to have something different in the game. So it's just a way of um, keeping this afloat. Right. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Champion. Okay. Uh, let's see what this one's about. All right, no problem. Uh, oh, yeah. It gave me one of the data pads i think okay i got uh ochikochi i i don't really need <laughs> i don't really need ochikochi i've got i've got two of them i mean it's not it's not a bad robot i hope eventually they will buff it again and make it better like like it was in the beginning i mean in the beginning it was too strong anyway it was really strong but now it's utterly weak you know it's just really weak now, so I think that's one of the problems. Right, guys, I'm going to be playing, uh, of course, uh, let me show you the, the monitors, because you might think this was just done with Acer. That's the Acer monitor, like I said. Steam Deck is there, that's War Robots, but it didn't play off of the Steam Deck. I don't know why. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, iPhone 12, this is uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max. That's why I was playing games before. That's War Robots, but it was not reflecting. It came on the Acer monitor. And over this side, that's where I've got all the programs running. The ones I was talking about. Windows Mobility Center. Sound. Uh, that's um, set time and resolution. That's for resolution. That's Quick CPU. That's my power plan on Steam Deck. That's DS4 Windows over there. And that's AMD Power Control Panel. So, uh, you see? That's AMD Power Control Panel. And I'm using 49 watts. You can see it says 49 watts. And the default is 10 watts. And uh, this one, unpack cores.
but this also unpack course that also unpacks your course right and my radar laptop in the background that's msi right so you can see that the game itself was running actually from the steam deck but for some strange or weird reason i couldn't get it to run off the steam deck i don't know why it's it's just how it is right so i'm actually going to make another video and next time i will be playing i think i'll be playing uh, um what do you call this game farlight if i'm not playing farlight i will be playing something like um I'll be playing something like uh, what you call it, Call of Duty 3. Uh, but I think Firelight first, then Call of Duty. Because obviously I want to play, I'm going to I'm gonna spend more time on Call of Duty than I would on Firelight. 